When you're the CEO of a company, it's super important to make sure that you say the right things. As Tesla CEO Elon Musk has learned to his detriment to the tune of 40 million US dollars, in fact, saying the wrong thing can damage your own personal reputation, affect your company's share price, and bring into question your company's future. And let's not even get into Carlos Ghosn's problems. It's super important then for a CEO to be mindful of all of this when making any public statements, and not to make an error that a simple bit of forethought might have prevented. Things like mistaking 15 million for 50 million, for example. As some of you may remember from a recent video on this channel, Volkswagen CEO Herbert Diess recently gave an interview to Automotive News in which he stated that the brand would be making 50 million electric vehicles on the MEB platform with help from the MEB electrification toolkit. The batteries for those vehicles, he said, were already sourced. Except it turns out that those 50 million electric vehicles are actually 15 million electric vehicles, and DS just misspoke. As Volkswagen's board of directors confirmed late last week, Volkswagen has just greenlit 15 million electric vehicles to be built on the MEB platform with help from the MEB electrification toolkit, not 50 million. And the cost? 50 billion euro. Cue metaphorical egg on DS's face. Of course, we're only human, and even large companies make mistakes once in a while. It is possible that it was just a slip of the tongue caused by overwork, or a homophonic error made by a non-native English speaker in the spur of the moment. I doubt it, though, because DS's English is very good. But regardless of what caused it, a 35 million vehicle error, especially when Volkswagen has been making such grandiose claims about its electric vehicle plans, well, it's kind of a big deal. A very big deal, in fact, because right now, while Volkswagen has promised all kinds of things in the electric car world, we've still not really seen much from the company. Which leads me to ask the following question. Can we really take Volkswagen's electric car plans seriously anymore? If it can make a mistake so large in production volume estimates, what else is it going to get wrong? Many watching this video will, of course, immediately cry out that Volkswagen hasn't been trustworthy since the Dieselgate debacle, or perhaps even before that point. When it comes to individuals at a company, that may very well be true. But it's important to know that a company itself cannot be misleading or untrustworthy, because in order to tell a lie as a corporate entity, every single person within the company has to be complicit. What it can be, however, is incompetent, thanks to a mixture of poor management and leadership. You'll note that my question wasn't if we could trust Volkswagen, but if we could take it seriously, specifically in the electric car world. If I'm honest, I think this poor management and leadership is the same thing that allowed various Volkswagen engineers and executives to execute the Dieselgate debacle while others in the company were not aware of what was going on. But I digress. Volkswagen's been promising us so much on the electric car front for so long yet it's not delivered on it. And DS's conflation of 15 million cars and $50 billion, which honestly is, I think, what happened, shows an executive team that's out of touch and perhaps not as engaged in Volkswagen's publicly stated long-term goals as you might expect. When an executive isn't engaged in a product the company is working on, there are bound to be confusions and complications. If we're talking engaged executives at the opposite end of that spectrum, the one charting how engaged and involved executives are in the company's day-to-day -day life, is Elon Musk. He's known to get stuck in at every opportunity, but that can also cause its own problems, with Musk known to be someone whose delegation skills could use some work. And that, by the way, is just as unhealthy for a company and the executive involved as one that's not as engaged in the day-to-day -day running as they might perhaps be. So it's incompetency then? Well, not quite. It's a lack of connection with the electric car world, and honestly, I think a lack of wanting to connect with it. Volkswagen and its board of directors have historically been dismissive and suspicious of electric cars. And while Volkswagen has been working on electric cars for more than 40 years, remember? I used to own one of their prototypes from the 1980s. Electric vehicles were traditionally a side project carried out by small insular teams. But now electric vehicles need to be a mainstream for the brand. And while Volkswagen understands mass production and the process of bringing a new model to market, I genuinely think many of its executives don't yet feel comfortable or knowledgeable enough with electric vehicle development, or are as connected with their engineering teams as they might be, in order for its transition from gasoline to electric to be a smooth one. Will Volkswagen get there? 
Absolutely. Will it produce those cars it says it will? I'm sure some will be made. And securing those battery packs, the maths works out far better for 15 million cars than it does for 15 million, will help ensure that Volkswagen doesn't get caught in the battery shortage trap that many other automakers are being caught in. But in the interim, can I take it seriously? Well, I'm personally at the point where I'm sure many more of you already are. Volkswagen, show me the car, let me drive it and spend some time with it, and then tell me how far, how fast, and how much. Do you agree? Do you view Volkswagen statements as empty promises? Will it really begin to bring electric cars that are affordable to market? And what do you think caused the company CEO to make such a massive blunder? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.